Hi everypony! Welcome to today's video, where we'll talk about what a cutie mark is. We'll also talk about how it's made and what happens when magic gets into the cutie mark. Before we start, don't forget to throw a like on the video, subscribe for a new video and bell to you no missed. You can also check out other things like Hero Hero, where I post videos that YouTube has blocked and even special content that won't be available anywhere else. We also have a SoundCloud, where I post my own music but also remixes. We also have a Twitch, where I post regularly and you can chat with me. We also have a Discord group, where you can join us. Now cutie marks are unique and are only acquired when the pony discovers what makes it unique and what it excels at. But take me back to when you were a little pony. Little ponies are born without the cutie mark and when it's time and they are ready there is a glow around the pony and then the cutie mark appears. A good example of this is Apple Bloom, who wanted right away, so she went to Twilight Sparkle, who wanted to oblige her, but every time the spell disappeared. But then Apple Bloom got cutie mark. Gradually more and more came in until it became cutie mark pox. Cutie mark smallpox is a disease where more and more cutie marks appear and the pony has to perform the act that the cutie mark gave him. In ponies they appear on the sides of ponies and ribs. So they are basically where livestock are marked. As many ponies were conceived as toys before they become characters in the series, they are often named after the cutie mark. This conflicts with some elements in Friendship is Magic, as in that series foals are born without their cutie marks. In Equestria Girls, the people at Canterlot High School are shown with pictures and patterns on their clothes that resemble the cutie marks of their ponies in Equestria. The pony counterparts of characters who don't have their cutie mark in Equestria don't have it in Equestria Girls either. Cutie marks are often combinable from two or three items or animals and usually have one to three colors. For example, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy and Applejack all have a cutie mark with three objects and all their designs have only two colors. One of the few ponies with a cutie mark with more than three colors is the Rainbow Dash, whose rainbow lightning bolt has four colors. Other ponies with four or five color cutie marks have a more detailed image, so many of the colors vary just to allow for shading. Earth ponies usually have food or horseshoe related markings, unicorns have astrological symbols and Pegasus ponies have weather related symbols. Musical notes are another common sign and are found on all three types of background ponies. Question for you. What QT mark would you like to have and why? Another thing that can rock a QT mark are the spells we have right now. We have several examples of what can or could happen. The first time it happened was when Twilight Sparkle was showing off her friend's cutie marks. Rarity had a cutie mark Rainbow Dash and was controlling the weather, which didn't go down so well. Rainbow Dash was in charge of the animals, but that didn't go well either. Then Fluttershy had to give out joy, but even Spike was more fun than Fluttershy. Pinkie Pie got a cutie mark Applejack. Chili had to take care of the farm and Applejack ended up having to sue where her machine always burn out. The second example is a bit different and different because everything started to happen in the fifth series of the first two episodes where Starlight Glimmer thanks to magic made a village without cutie mark but with cutie mark straight where every pony is supposed to be straight but everything was different in reality. Starlight Glimmer, with the help of Spell, put all the cutie marks in a safe so that they would not return to their owners. But they foiled her and Starlight Glimmer wanted to escape with the cutie marks. Luckily, only Starlight escaped and the cutie marks all returned. The third example was how Apple Bloom got the cutie marks box, but we talked about that in the video earlier. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. Bye!